This tutorial will explain how to install Gantter and use Gantter, uh, which is a basically a Gantt chart that links uh, Google Docs and how you can share uh, projects uh, with others. So the first step is to install the app uh, to your Google Chrome. So you will need to have Google Chrome, the browser, installed on your machine. Once you have it installed, you'll go to Web Store and you'll search for the application by typing in Gantter. And from here you can install the app. Now in my case it's already installed. So you open up the app and when you have some information or content within your uh, chart you can choose to save this via Google Docs. You can also save it to your uh, own uh, computer but for this purpose we will be saving it uh, to Google Docs. So to do that you save to Google Docs or Control G and once you've done that it should appear in your Google Docs main page as it does here. So if I go and change the name and then save it again to Google Docs it should also be reflected. So any changes you make within Gantter should reflect in your Google Docs. So if I do a refresh okay looks like it's not picking up the title but the file is here and from here you can then save it to your other colleagues as you normally would. Okay now I've got uh, another file that I already have open and which is called corrective writing research so if I close this and open up a new file I can also open up Google Docs directly from Gantt. so to do that you click project open from Google Docs and I select show all documents and click the down arrow and select the file that you wish to open and it should appear. Okay, so uh, you basically can work directly from Gantt, both saving documents to Google Docs as well as opening and documents. And this is, again, this is an easy way to share uh, different projects uh, with others, again, using Gantt and Google Docs.